I'm, talk, I'm talking about that they should not be avoided in the, uh, at the uh, patients with uh, vascular risk factors. And now we're talking about uh, five vascular risk factors. Um, and a lot of studies have shown that um, patients who have one, two, three, or more vascular uh, risk factors um, could tolerate CGRP antibodies with no uh, problems. There have been some minor issues, but this was not uh, considered to be related to the medication. So at this point, we don't have evidence um, based on the, on the clinical trials and real um, uh, real world practice that they should be avoided. Of course, there are some situations like small vessel disease and codicil where the patients uh, should not uh, take the medication. Also, we don't have enough data in the elderly population. But if these things are taken in, in precaution, and um, uh, we know also that um, uh, erenumab is now connected with uh, hypertension, especially in the first week. So if the patients are monitored for hypertension, this should not be a, a problem. Now that we are aware that hypertension is, is a one risk factor that uh, show to be um, um, uh, problematic. Uh, so now we are looking at these patients who are at higher risk uh, for stroke uh, or myocardial infarction, but who have also a lot of migraines. And now the real world studies and data are now um, taking into, into consideration of these factors. So there are some ongoing studies and we, uh, the researchers in the world are, are collecting the data on this topic. But I don't know when, when they will be uh, published, but soon, I hope, so we could gain uh, from the knowledge.